Hi everyone! The audio server was developed as the means to implement a fully integrated audio experience in any building in a simple, maintenance-free and energy-efficient way. Whether it's a family home, office, store, hotel or restaurant, the audio server is the most flexible audio solution for any project. It enables expensive automation and offers a flexible system architecture thanks to its free scalability. We redefine how you experience audio in your building. The audio server, in combination with the mini server, integrates seamlessly into your home and building automation. The audio server was developed for mounting on a top hat rail. It comprises nine partition units and can be combined with any generation of the mini server. As with all Luxum products, the operating voltage is 24 volts DC. To supply the audio server and stereo extensions with power, we recommend the power supply and backup. The audio server is connected to the network via the LAN connector through which it communicates with the mini server. A network music library can also be accessed via the network. The USB port is used for local audio storage. External sources such as microphones, turntables, or mixing consoles can be connected via the line and connection. The analog line out and the digital SPDIF out are used to connect external amplifiers, for example, in an existing project. Now let's talk about the amplifier outputs. The audio server has four amplifier outputs for passive loudspeakers between four and eight ohms, which can be operated in stereo or in a so-called stereo downmix. The combination of amplifier outputs can be configured individually in the Luxum config. Last but not least, the audio server has a three turbo high-speed interface with which the audio server can be expanded with up to 10 stereo extensions. The maximum cable length here is 150 meters. So much for the hardware, but the real power of the audio server lies in the software. The audio server doesn't just play music, it can do so much more. Thanks to the free Luxon config, features such as a sound alarm, doorbells, individual announcements, text-to-speech, loud burglar alarms, and much more can be individually tailored to the needs of your particular project. Features for a restaurant, for example, where the volume of the individual zone is automatically adjusted according to the time of day, can be implemented with just a few clicks. The zone groupings or room groupings can either be made dynamically with the help of the Luxone app or of the Luxone config. Fixed room groupings are, for example, for areas where the same music should always be played. The possibilities for automation with the help of the Luxone config are almost unlimited. Now let's take a brief look at the installation process. Once the audio server is supplied with operating voltage and can be found in the network, we can connect it to the mini server and start the search. Once the audio server is displayed in the search dialog, all that remains is to assign an installation location to it and the audio server is ready for use. Settings such as speaker type, maximum volume, and amplification factor for the respective outputs can now be set up in the properties. By right-clicking on the stereo output, it can be split into two stereo downmix channels. By a simple drag and drop onto the program page, an audio player is automatically inserted and is now available with all its features, including visualization. This was an overview of the Luxone audio server and the basic installation process. As always, you can find all of the details on configuring the audio server in our documentation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time.